I'm one of the IBM people, Italian by marriage. <laughs> for years, the Sons of Italy at 10th and Pacific was a place for a plate of pasta and some friendship. In January, a fire destroyed the building, leaving many hungry for some good news after so much history and heritage was lost. But through the ash and smoke, one piece of Italian pride survived. Firemen come out and told us that he said it was soot covered, but they they kept the hoses off of it. It was able to sustain the type of heat that it it was exposed to. A 22 foot long, nearly four foot wide mural is the focus of a fixing up project. Deborah Ohl, a professional conservator, is using organic detergents and solvents to slowly and meticulously lift the smoke stains from the stretched canvas. These are some of the burnt blisters where the paint has just completely turned brown. Painted in 1952, the mural depicts the Sicilian landscapes of Carlantini, Lentini, and Mount Etna. The art came to the Sons of Italy after the original Coniglia's Pizzeria. That closed in 2005. We've, we've been there and this is what it looks like. Charles and Charles Coniglia, or Coniglia as they say it, are cousins. Today they saw the mural for the first time since the fire. It means a lot to our family to keep it going. It means a lot to our family because oh, it's our grandfather and our, and our dads. One well, of the cities from many Omahans came from. The Durham Museum plans for restoration to be done by Thanksgiving. Then they will hang the mural on this wall for everyone to see. After that, the Sons of Italy hopes to bring the mural back into their newly restored building. They're hoping to do that by June of 2018. They should be able to look at it and enjoy the scenery and remember the history before they think about the fire. A piece of Omaha's past preserved for the future. How cool. Every Monday through Friday, Deborah Ohl is at the Durham Museum downtown. They're opening up to the public, so when the Durham opens tomorrow morning, anyone can watch her work. Now.